Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 81, September 15th, rolling along through the year. I still just can't believe it's this late. Um, I was digging through all my notes trying to figure out where the slide deck for meeting 80 went. I apparently never saved it. Fortunately, the video is online. You can find it on YouTube or just go to Fire Giant's blog and we have all the meeting highlights and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to watch the whole thing to figure out what's going on. Um, so as should. always, but you should. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't here right now, which is what I was just talking about, about being on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So... We don't have much of an agenda beyond the typical triage, and then we'll do the typical questions, comments for people that didn't put anything on the agenda. Um, sound good? Works for me. All right, let's go do that. That means the time is triage. It's funny, every time I pause, take a breath for that right there, my mouse cursor disappears. Very fresh. Well, don't, don't take a breath. Yeah, I guess. That's the, oh, it's back. All right. That makes me happy. Install command, uninstall repair command cannot be tweaked. Yes, all of this. I think we talked about this feature. Open we to untouched. Release change from 3.10 to 4.0. Change from implemented to blank. So it was not implemented? Uh, it was implemented for, for 3x, and I believe Sean was the one who pulled it into 4. Um, but what we talked about in the web uh, and did not do was implementing condition support for MSI property. I see. So that, that's the rest of this. That's the, uh, yeah, that's reopen for MSI property in v4. All right, fair enough. Um, fine. Seems reasonable. Go finish it. Would have been fine if we did uh, it a different way, but all right. I mean, well, yeah. there's no pull request for you to take a look at then. Oh. You were just lying in wait, weren't you? I was. So this is the yeah back and forth about this zip file for the driver that you set up API, right? So this is the driver thing causing the bundle to run a second time, right? Something a yeah. setup API is causing it to run twice. And apparently it only happens on what we're saying, Windows 7 x86 now? Right. That's XP and Server 2003, which we're okay doing because they didn't have elevation. We don't want to bring right. this to Windows 7. Exactly. This is this is the real problem. And we thought it was only XP back in the time because nobody else was complaining about this one. Yeah. Elsewhere, but maybe they just weren't testing seven XP X eighty six Windows seven X eighty six. That just feels really weird. It just it seems odd that this would be the first time we ran into it. It does. Makes you wonder more if it's like a particular driver, you know, uh, what do they call them, co installer or something's doing it. Well, we can't do their fix because that would cause a prompt to execute on the post run, on the subsequent run. Uh, if that, we had the open question of whether it would let you elevate at all from run. Run doesn't happen until you log in, I think, so it will, and it would only be that user. So can you I'm I'm getting a message the open folder can no longer be viewed. Um so I can't get to the logs. Can you try Rob to see if you have access? Uh, try to grab that. No. Yeah, still has the same experience. Um, I got that within 24 hours of him posting, so Sean didn't even get it. And we oh, I see. Him. Okay, well, that was my first inclination is that it was a time thing. And the second window is coming from this filter driver, as Phil points out. Yeah. 
it might not be, I think, I don't know if Google Drive, you have to somehow explicitly make it public. I don't know what we do with this. We can't take his fix as is. No, agreed. Agreed. And I don't know what else we can do beyond this. say it, we could have a switch no. that says, if you're running a driver install, then you require this workaround, otherwise don't do it. Because I don't think we can, you know, come up with a heuristic that says, hey. But as I recall from, from this bug before, it was anything that installed using um, the old school INF mm -hmm. API would trigger this. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't like Jacob. I don't think it's it, it has anything to do with Windows rerunning it. It's it's whatever processes that INF um, API usually. Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a particular one I'm thinking of, but mm -hmm. I can't remember the name. Uh, but it's it's setup API is responsible for that behavior. It's not not Windows per se, just part of Windows. Well, I think at the very least we need to ask for another link for logs. Um, I agree, we can't take the fix as is. I don't. I have a better suggestion. At the moment, but also I'm like, I don't have, I don't have any customers today using drivers, so I used to, but not no more. Now I'm checking if the bundles are running. It's just a dangerous thing to do. All kinds of things get messed up when you do that. Well, I think the other problem is if, it, if it's actually processing run once completely, it's going to delete the key when it's done. Presumably. Unless well, that would put things back, but who knows. It's also possible that this is not the same issue. Because again, it, it, it seems it seems unlikely that you know we would have had several reports of the XP 2003 problem and none on Windows 7. I don't think Windows 7 is you know different enough. Well, I suspect it is, but I mean it's yeah. You know, this is all happening on. You know, well after Windows 7 came out. So it's not like, you know. Yeah, I think, like I said, I think we have to ask for, you know, another source for logs at the very least. Yep. So, you know, that, we, can we can probably tell from them whether it's the same issue. If it's the same issue, then I still don't have a solution, but that's a separate problem. Yep. I, I, there's a lot of it that I don't like. <laughs> Yeah. Votov does not supporting adding Wix extensions in imported files. When you import a Wix, Wix layer, I don't Wix project, everything builds fine. However, if you unload, close the solution, and reopen, the project with such import will get you this. Hmm. Okay. Cool. It's Votov. We could fix that. We could take that. Uh, 
Okay. I mean, yeah, if that's true, sir, I can fix it. Something in vote of not handling that correctly. Or MPF, even more likely. <laughs> more likely. Burn container should be abstracted. Yes. This is a whip, right? This is a whip. Yeah. Do you want to look at the whip? I don't recall if there's anything interesting in the whip. No, it's all right. I, I think like if we're going to discuss it, we can discuss it. And if you want to discuss it, we can. I mean, if that's what you're asking for. Uh, if you're willing to let me go all crazy and do whatever I want because you're signing off implicitly right now, that's fine with me. Well, usually we discuss on the mailing list, but I guess we could. Oh, well. No, I, I, it's fine. There's nothing controversial. Um, at least if there was anything controversial, no one's you know, complained yet. Yeah, I'm I'm all for stuff in burn moving out of burn that can be reused, and I like this idea of having a container format that can be reused. So I don't have any problem with that. And if that helps get you know, and so you can change it from cabs to LZMA, okay, fine with that. Right. The right. util is the kitchen sink. I'm actually comfortable with that somehow. I don't know yeah, why. Me but too. The hard part about the util is that if we keep doing this three-letter thing, you're going to run out of, like, what do you call it? Because you can't call it well, con util because that's for console no. util, not for container utils. But and, You know, I do call that out from the whip um, because of, of that very problem. Technically, you, you know, we do have four letters. I like so, the util. Well, that was, that was kind of where I want to go. I like, I like the idea. I, I went looking for synonyms of container, and box was, uh, of course, top of the list. Um, I'd love to call this box shield. I have no mouse cursor, but anyway, down here at the bottom, you can see I'd love to call this box shield. I like box shield. Okay, done. I, I named the tool, tool in the past box that was basically just containers. That was the precursor to burn, so I like that term. I thought I thought you might want to reserve it, but... Reserve it for it. something else? Mm, uh, I don't know. Old box? It's still in use, you know? Yeah, it's still in use. Even though it shouldn't be, because burn does it all that better, but yeah. Well, anyway. Some teams take a while. Um, okay, box util it is, and it's a good thing because that's kind of already what I've named the file. But awesome. Embedded UI hosting doesn't respect config files embedded by Wix SFSCA. Ugh. Does config files work for these things? But well, they kind of have to. Yeah, picking the CLR. Oh, mm, okay. Yeah, I don't know who's. Yeah, don't know enough about this, but yeah, it seems like something that could be fixed in 3x. Theoretically, I agree. So, so it's oh, it's embedded UI. Yeah, I care even less. Yes, yes, yes. This is this is the the so custom actions work. Embedded UI don't. So okay. Never been a big fan of embedded UI given all its issues, but yeah. yeah After surprised. installing .NET four five one on Visual Studio twenty thirteen, they're getting compiler errors. Whoa. So Security this, policy PE file evidence factory. Oh my goodness. Is what this possibly happened? from a from a, a zip file that wasn't unblocked? Oh. It's candle trying to read its resource stream. Right. Now So that's probably too late, isn't it? I should take that back. Well, yeah, we just asked Excel Schema to read. We didn't do anything. So if, you, if they use Wix 4, this doesn't happen because Wix 4 doesn't use the schemas anymore. Oh. It really just avoids this code path. This is a problem in .NET Framework. They've broken something. They've well, changed something. And I don't no, know didn't that 4.5.1... Well, they put it in release v310. So I don't know if this is... They're actually claiming this is what the version they're using, but... So why don't we give them the suggestion to make sure that the files are not 
did not come from a zip file that was tagged with this, and then they need, like, I don't know how you get that. PE no file evidence factory. Good grief. Why are we in security policy? System configuration, get hash, get client configuration paths, base. Yeah, or that, or is the configuration file tweaked? The candle.config file tweaked somehow? Because it looked like XML reader went off and asked the configuration manager for something. So maybe the config files messed up. But yeah. Don't know. So I guess we'll send it back and ask them a couple more questions like that. I'm glad they provide stack trace though. I actually I'm not. I lost interest pretty much after the first or second line. Well, yeah. App domain evidence factory. Yeah, I mean, it suggests that something's corrupt or otherwise not matching what the .NET framework wants this thing to be, and maybe the config file is confusing it. Our code didn't change, so I don't know. <laughs> like, no. here, you guys broke. We installed a new .NET framework. You're broken. Fix it. It's like, ah, uh, we didn't. It's working for us. Well, and uh, yeah, working 451 is you know, not that old. Yeah, why don't they go take it up with .NET framework 451? You broke my tool. What did you do? Anyway. Well, you can file, file bugs against that. Wix. You can't file a bug against .NET so, so yeah. easily. Yeah, so anyway, I, I'm... Not terribly excited about that bug, but yeah, we can. Maybe it's possible we're doing something wrong. Okay then. So, I think that's it. Right. Things, goings on, people want to talk about stuff out there been a crazy week for me, so I have barely even moved. It's only Tuesday. Oh, no, sorry. Since the last week. I'm about ready to start measuring my days from Tuesday to Tuesday. <laughs> I measure my weeks from Tuesday to Tuesday. Oh, yeah, that sounds funny. Is support, it's supposed to be embedded UI config, not custom action config. Oh, cool. Well, then, yay. Maybe you can be awesome, Sean, if you really want to go resolve it as not a bug. That'd be fantastic. Awesome. All right. Anything else? No? 20 minute meeting is pretty good. Give me a few bugs. Things like that. All right. Well, until next week, we're going to call this one good. Um, that's all I got. All right. I was about to say the same thing. So I will say it one more time and then we'll call it out of here. Uh, until next week, you guys have a good one. Later. Bye. Bye.